Hi everyone, isn't it annoying when you're trying to clean those radiators, the central heating ones that have got the grills on the top, trying to get a brush down there and all that. I know you can get some, but it's still not the same as taking the grill right off and being able to get down there properly. Now, a lot of you have asked me how to get those off, and I've got three videos on getting those off, because there's different types. Uh, there's a double that I'll show you, and then there's two singles that both clamp on in different ways, and yours may be one of those. So, if it's any one of those that I haven't done, I'm very sorry. <laughs> They're the only three I've got. So, worth a look. I'll pile them together as one long video, so you can see if you can find yours there amongst those three, and be able to get them the top of it, the radiator grill off and the sides and be able to get a brush down there and clean it properly like anything because they get very very dusty radiators, shocking things. Okay, without further ado, here we go, double radiator first. You need to be able to get these grill tops off and they're not as easy as they look but I'm going to show you that they're not too bad at all. Now I always start with one side and you'll notice there's a little gap around there, a little washer sits around there and it just sits on the bottom radiator valve and it's quite simple really because all you've got to do is grab a hold of it and pull up. It'll pop out of there like that, okay, and it'll all come away. And there's our left hand one and there's our top grid off. Um, you can leave that right one on if you want, but it will come away. You can pull that one up as well, and it will it'll lift away by doing that, and it's all clear. All right, and that leaves you clear then to get in there. As you can see, there's even a bit of dust in mine. Look at that. Wow. So here we are. Quickly out, put it back on. Get the right hand side or the left one. You know that's the top with a little ring around it. Place it on over the top of the ridge and slide it down onto your ad valve and switch it down like that okay um, get your top piece slide it in just lift it under like so that's in position get your other side line it up with the bottom down there to go over there and line it up with the top to go over here you can see that and then just push it down and there we are it's back in place well the first sort I'm going to show you is this type. Uh, this is a single panel, and this is the non wraparound type. You know, I mean, the grill doesn't go completely right around the back of the radiator. So, this is very, very easy to do because this panel just lifts off. If it's a bit tight, just get a little screwdriver down there, get it in the hinge there, just pop it up like so. Once that's popped up, you can pull it out and lift that away. Okay, once it's lifted off, you've got that side off and then you can just lift the grid away like so as you can see put it right up and take it off okay I'm going to you the rest it's easy easy peasy if you've got that sort uh, a piece of cake obviously but the problem some of you are having uh, is with the other type which I'll show you now so this one here is the one that most of you are having problem removing the grill from uh, it kind of wraps around the back the metal goes right around it's hard to show you from here because it's under a worktop but it actually the metal goes round and down to make life easier for all you guys I'm going to take this rad off the wall <laughs> right then so here's our kitchen radiator I've taken it off just for you lot one well, of the things I have to do now then <laughs> take my own rad off there's nothing wrong with it this is the wrap around type that I was talking about you can see that the panel kind of wraps around the back of the radiator so here a closer look at this now this clip you can see it through the back of the rad there and you can see where it dips down there I hope you got it on the camera there and um, you can see where it's kind of holding against the rad grill it's holding that top on with a kind of spring clip you can see the back of the clip there and what you've got to do is get a screwdriver down there now and just release the clip right next tricky part of the job is to pass a screwdriver down through the grill and I don't know if you can see it there alright but put it behind the clip so it clears the radiator okay next part of the operation is just take these bits off just bits of plastic stuck on the back of the rad they do just click off they're a bit tight just get a screwdriver and pop them off but mine are quite loose and that'll leave you with that then let's come to the end of the radiator and get another screwdriver and see if you can pop that off now like so Right, I've just come out of shot there, sorry about that. Just pop it off both sides for the screwdriver. Try not to damage anything if you can, okay? And you'll find it all pops up like so. And as you can see, 
there's our horrible clip that was clamping it and causing us all the problems <laughs> yeah, it's rather a nasty type of design for these single panels but never mind same then on the other end we take the panel grip off the end and lift it out get the screwdriver get it in there and get it off okay try not to damage anything and we just put it away and we've got our top off is on the deck. Sorry about this one-handed camera operation today, but Jan's not with me. That now leaves us clear to clean through and do the grills. Give it a good old shining up. Get rid of that dust. So if you take a proper look at that now, you can see quite how it goes with the hook mechanism and obviously the two clamp parts that go over the valve ends at the end. You can see quite exactly how it works. When you have a look like this, you can see, ah, I see how it goes and it all comes to you how to do it doesn't it but this is the real tricky one um, of the single panel rad I know some doubles have got a similar mechanism but most of them have got what are in the video that I've already done which is a simple lift off as in the first rad uh, I've shown you just line it up on top like I'm doing it one handed as I say Jan's not around today get that clip down there in the centre one You'll know it's in the centre because it's right off of each end and literally just push it down and it'll clamp back on, like so. Once it's clamped back on there, we can lift up and get our ends in. As you can see, we've got enough movement, easy to lift the ends up uh, to get the, the end shots in there. And there you are, they just slot in there as you can see. You can see the little lips there, they just literally go in behind there. You can see it there. Okay, down inside there and you're locked in place. Do the other end and we're ready to put it back. Right then, that just leaves us with the... Dropped it. <laughs> the little badges to go in. Yeah, okay, just pop back in there. All right, quite simple, just stick them back. Uh, and that's the job done. Okay, that's about it then. Hope that helped you out some. So all my stuff, the usual place to go, you know what it is, Derrida 33. Thanks for watching everyone, bye-bye.